creating an organization chart is a very important activity in every organization so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a 3d organization chart which is simple and you can use it uh, very easily and can change the content uh, of the slide so if you see here I have created three layers uh, organization chart starting with the CEO then the second layer with the managers and their two employees are reporting to each manager and similarly i have created one more slide where i have used dark theme and you can see here the same slide but the background is a uh, darker so let's see how to do this chart in powerpoint add a new slide go to insert shapes and select a rectangle draw a rectangle holding the shift key maybe this much size and shape outline you can make it no outline then select the object right mouse click go to format shape and go to effects under effects you need to go to 3d rotation and from presets select the third one which is isometric top up so you have got this shape and then go to 3d format and you can see there's something called depth just increase the size of the depth maybe eight points and you can change the lightning to this maybe bottom room and the material I can select the metal one and if you like to change the color you can change it whichever color which you like it maybe let it be a green here then go to insert shapes and I'm going to select from the basic shape this one which is the diamond just draw the diamond by again holding the shift key and shape outline make it some gray color and weight make it to one and a half points and shape outline again dashes give some dotted lines here and shape fill either you can make it white or you can make it no fill also so you got this design just bring it here increase the size and reduce the height also so you got this design let me just increase a little bit from the down so you have got this design now I'm going to select all control G to group it control D to duplicate it put two here the one at the top and one at the bottom sorry and I'm just going to reduce the size and this size also I can reduce it and I'm going to change the color to some different color maybe a blue and this also a blue and I'm going to connect from this is the maybe a kind of a say this is the head of the company or CEO and these two persons are reporting to him for that let me just go to shapes and from the lines I'm going to select connector elbow so you can see here this connector elbow join to this and shape outline give it a gray color and weight make it one and a half point and the same dotted lines here press ctrl d to duplicate it add one here and take this to this end so you can see here we have connected so this two persons are reporting to this and then i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate reduce the size and i'm going to put two more person under this and control d two more person for this manager so again i'm going to just select this press control d one i'm going to connect here the other i'm going to connect it here again control d bring it here one I'm connecting here, the other. So you can see it's very simple to create the org chart in PowerPoint. 
कंट्रोल डी एंड दैट्स इट सो यू कैन सी हियर आवर बेसिक डिजाइन इज रेडी एंड इफ देर मोर पर्सन विच आर वर्किंग अंडर दैम देन यू कैन एड वन मोर अ लाइन देयर and if you want you can just move also i'm just going to select only this four uh, by using the mouse and i can simply move it so you can see here the lines also moving along with that so it's very uh, simple and a uh, dynamic design and then let's change the color of this and i'm going to give some maybe a gray color for the employees and select this and press f4 key so it will repeat whatever the action we did last and then i'm going to add the text here say this is a ceo for example and use some good fonts make it bold reduce the size and put it here and if you like you can add the name as well as the some background also but i'm not going to add any name and just type your or i can just say type more detail text here center align reduce the size again the same font make sure that you need to use the same font throughout the slides or go for maximum two fonts only two different fonts so i'm just selecting this control g to group it control d to duplicate bring it here i'll just say this is manager 1 control d and this is a manager 2 and then i'm going to select this control d and put it here so this is employee 1 control d this employee 2 employee 3 and employee 4 so just come and change the So you can see here our basic design is ready. Now we need to add some icons to it. To add the icons, go to Insert Icons. You need to have a internet connection for this. So I'm just going down and I'm going to select the image, or uh, not the image, sorry, the icon, which is. Let me just go down. Yeah, select this and insert. And you can see here one image has been inserted. i can just increase the size a little bit more and i want to give the outline for example i want to give the outline of orange and graphic fill make it no fill but the outlining is very thin so let me just make it more darker i'm going to use three points and you can give some shadow effect which is this one and if you want you can just fill it with white also that will be more relevant so you can see here with the shadow effect control d and reduce the size put it here and you can change the color to some other color maybe a red control d add one here again control d make it more smaller and give some different color and this is the last so you can see here our simple organization chart is ready and if you want you can give some animations to it and if you want you can just add one more shape here which is the oval shape a small oval shape i'm just going to add it here which looks more good make it very small by holding the shift key shape outline you can make it gray and shape fill make it white and put it here 
so it's a connector kind of thing control d sorry one add it here and control d one added at the bottom you can see here our design is ready that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye